Oh, Mr. Pelham here. Yes, sir. I will get Mr. Pelham if you wish to speak to him. You were going to get me. You were in your room. What a bore these practical jokers are. I thought you'd gone down to play snooker. Finish your drink and we'll get some lunch. The old boy striking it rich again, two nights in a row. Why don't you get lost? We're tired of your damn silly jokes. If you want to go out gambling and womanizing on your own, why don't you say so? Because I don't and I didn't. I've not been in that club since we were there together six months ago. Hello. What do you want me to say? Well, I'm seeing her in office hours. Is all this true? All these times I've been coming here sleeping with you. I don't remember the I don't remember! I only have one of these. I wear the same tie to the office every day. I'm sorry, Pearl. You and I have been friends and colleagues for more years than I care to remember. But I don't recognize the man sitting there. You think I'm mad? Yours does not seem to be a classic case. There is one important difference. What? That you do not claim to have seen the double yourself. Other people have. Let me speak to my wife. Your wife? What on earth would your wife be doing here? Help me. Don't tell me it's this double of yours, Phil. I can assure you, Charles, that the only Howard Bellum is the one sitting here. One of us will have to go. I'm. I am! You know me. You must know me. I am Pelham! <laughs>